All right, let's talk Justin Jefferson, why don't we? I think we all know Justin Jefferson is great. Like, I think that's not even up for discussion. Like, no, we know he's great. Uh, he, he is. He's amazing. But I want to kind of make a video and talking about, well, what makes him great? You know, we always talk about how good he is, but what is it that actually makes him so dominant? Well, let's get into it. And let's start off with the play you see on your screen. This is going to be a great example of just uh, how well he moves. His cutting is just so incredible. It just, I mean, it's it's just unfair. I don't know how anyone could possibly cover this guy. We're, it's going to be Eric Stokes trying to cover him right here. And first off, it's going to be what he does at the line. What he does, you know, the first couple of steps are always so important. Watch this kind of fake as though he's going to the right and then cuts towards the left to get past Stokes. So he's already got to step on Stokes just as is, which, you know, Eric Stokes, a very fast corner, but kind of the issue now is Stokes has to get up to his top speed to try and, you know, uh, make up ground. He's a step behind. So, okay, Stokes is thinking no big deal. I'm, you know, I'm a fast corner. I can make up this ground. The issue is Jefferson's route is not done. Watch him again cut so smoothly over the middle. Stokes had to put so much effort into running further deep. He couldn't cut as well as he typically can in general. And even if he could, he wasn't going to be able to get over to Jefferson because of how well Jefferson moves. I mean, it is video game-like at times, the way that Jefferson can move. And that's part of what makes him so dominant. We also have stuff like this, where what's going to happen on uh, this play is it's going to be a zone coverage play that the Giants are going to be in this time. And this is a lot of what Jefferson can do as well. You know, we always like to talk about guys who can just win against man coverage, right? Like that last play. That's a great example of what we love to talk about, because again, that's fun, right? It's fun to see guys who can win against man that does feel more impressive and all of that stuff. But there's more ways to add value as a wide receiver, and this is a great example of what Jefferson can do, which is kind of these crossing over the middle routes uh, as a you know wide receiver. He does incredibly well. Watch how when this play begins, you know, what's interesting is, so a linebacker's turned back to try and cover deep over the middle, and it feels like Jefferson kind of notices this. He doesn't try to fight through it or anything. He's going to kind of almost use this to his benefit and create a sort of an accidental pick play happening. Watch him step behind the linebacker, which causes the linebacker in the corner to fall down. He's then able to go up, make the catch, and he ends up getting a touchdown out of that. He ends up getting all the way into the end zone. I mean, that's just, again, it's video game like stuff. It's just I don't know how you how you're supposed to cover this guy. It's not fair that someone of his talent should also can also be as smart as him. You know, like that shouldn't be allowed. It should be you either have the smart players who aren't that talented or the uh, talented players who aren't that smart. Uh, when you ever every now and then you get one of the guys like Justin Jefferson who has that insane talent, but also understands the game of football so well, and those two things paired together allow him to be so elite. Also, stuff like this is, you know, it's kind of one of those, like, pick your poison things. Because, like, okay, so this is going to be a play where you have, look at how far off the corner who's covering Jefferson is playing on this one. Definitely covering very far deep. Uh, and, again, it's worth mentioning the situation. It's second down and very long. It's second down, but the Vikings, they want to get a first down, have to get to the 41-yard line. And given the fact that they're currently, you know, on the 26-yard line, all right, you got some work to do, but you know what? Let's try to get some yards. You don't have to get it all on this play. Let's try to get some yards back right away. So for a corner playing very far off Jefferson, typically you think it's a smart idea, right? Let's not get burned deep. Jefferson is Jefferson. We know who he is. We don't want to give up a free chunk play. Well, watch when his play begins. I mean, when Jefferson first starts to make his move, you see how far off that defensive back still is. There's still a good five-yard distance, but it's almost more dangerous to be doing this because, again, because of how well Jefferson cuts. When he cuts back towards the sideline, the corner is completely out of position. It has to do a full 360 to finally get in position to then go over and uh, make a tackle on Jefferson. So while Jefferson didn't get the first, didn't get the first down on that play, he got, you know, roughly, uh, you know, four yards away from it, setting up a manageable third down from a unmanageable second down, and that's simply due to the respect Jefferson gets, but also just his cutting ability and how he can take advantage of that kind of thing. And then you also have stuff like this, which again, that's all exciting. That's all fun. What about just winning on the outside? Single safety deep, Jefferson in a go route. Can he be able to win? You know, let's not uh, get too fancy here. Watch how right when this play begins. I mean, you know, Cousins is not 
even thinking about this play. There is no thoughts going on in his mind. He might as well be thinking about what he wants for dinner after the game or something, or I don't know, uh, which church he's going to go to this Sunday, because uh, that's what he's, you know, it's it's that simple of a decision. You're going to throw the ball towards Justin Jefferson here. It's one-on-one on the outside, and watch why. Cousins throws the ball further down the field. Jefferson gets open, is able to make the grab. I mean, that's just, and that's what he does. I mean, you're not going to be able to cover him in that situation. That's just, it's one of those things where it's like, if you leave him one-on-one on the outside, I don't care if you have, you know, Deion Sanders uh, out there. That's not something you should do. That's just not something you should do. You know, Lattimore's good. Lattimore's great. Great corner. Doesn't matter. In today's NFL, a great receiver can win on the outside one-on-one if you have one of those three or four true elite guys, and there's no denying that Jefferson is one of those players. And then there's also just stuff like this where it's, again, a one-on-one matchup. And, you know, these are really fascinating plays to me because it's not like when you you're, he's going to cut over the middle eventually, but you don't have to get the inside leverage to do that. Watch him instead go for the outside leverage. Runs to the outside, which is, again, Something that maybe not everyone would tell you to do. But now that he's on the outside, this is kind of, in a way, what allows him to fool opposing players. They don't know where he's going. And again, he's a step ahead of the corner who's covering him because he's always a step ahead of the corner who's covering him. So you have to you be in you know position to furiously try to get back to where he's at. Jefferson cuts over the middle. He's going to end up getting open, makes the grab, and you know doesn't even get tackled, picks up uh, a ton of yards. I mean, look at how much yards he got uh, before Buffalo was finally able to bring him down. So yeah, at the end of the day, he's just I mean, the most simple way to phrase it is he's just an elite player. He's just one of those guys that it's like, if you have Justin Jefferson, like you're good. You make sure that, you know, when it's time to pay him, you pay him as much money as he wants because he's he's that guy. You know, he's someone who, uh, you know, had a, what? He's got 4,825 uh, yards in his career. He's been in the league for three years. I mean, that's obscene. You'd, you'd, that'd be very impressive if he had been in the league for five years. Like, if he's been in the league for five years and has just shy of 5,000 yards, you'd be like, wow, that's a really, you know, effective first five years of your career. He's done that in three. He had 1,800 yards last year and could easily end up being the first 2,000-yard uh, receiver. He's only 24 years old. Absolutely insane what he's already able to do. But, yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on Jefferson. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about uh, Justin Jefferson and his dominance so far? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.